All right, guys, so it's going to be a good morning. I got a fish dump in line. I'm smiling. My kind of morning. Um, we're going to be doing voiceover again today because I'm stuck with just the GoPro camera in the dive case. Sound doesn't do very well, so uh, I'll kind of walk you through what we're doing. So on this day, the water was, the upwelling had come through. Water was back up to about 82 degrees, so it's still cool. Um, helps a lot during the day to stay cooled down. Uh, I'll show you that in a little while, but uh, we're back and we're catching fish. And I think this first fish is on a uh, on a little bomber lure, a little shallow diver. Yep. And I started the day with that. It's a tried and true lure. I always troll something bigger and something smaller to see what they are eating on at that time and this particular day big lures were not getting a lot of hits the little lures were just being smashed so this little bitty bomber lure I think it's a I, I think it's probably made for freshwater bass but uh, it's a little bargain bin junker small fish uh, why am I throwing it back without measuring because it's the end of the month and then kayak wars were maxed out on kings all I'm looking for is a couple of oversize for extra points if I can find them. Otherwise, I don't need more kingfish. So here we are, another king. It's the other rod. This is a new lure that I I passed this thing up in the shop in, in Roy's for a month, month and a half. I kept looking at it and I thought, well, that's that's for high-speed tuna. Um, it's It's to be trolled faster. And a couple of buddies said, no, man, try this on the kayak. It works well. Uh, Halco makes it. It's called a Max 110. And the fish on this one is he's pretty decent. He's 44, 45 inches. Uh, and he got that lure kind of stuck on outside of his mouth and getting it off his nose. You can see how quick it sinks. But nice, solid fish. Back he goes. Let's go do this again. I pull up this lure and I'm kind of laughing it's early in the day I think this is fish number six and it's already beginning to get chewed up I'm just making sure everything is still straight hooks are good back it goes go catch another one so I did a couple of minutes later <laughs> got another one up by the boat and these guys 82 is a nice temp for them they fight like it's cold water and they they will not give up but when you get them by the boat when they're spunky like this you really got to watch them um, I got a couple of fish today that will will try and their best to stick hooks in me and you really got to stay on your toes and be real careful with them also we we had seen about a 10-foot hammerhead cruising this this rock pile and he's around I'm always trying to keep an eye on the water and make sure he's not going to zip up there and steal my fish or my hand <laughs> so that same little lure it's getting very popular with those kingfish today yo there he goes he's trying to trying to stick that hook in me and I hadn't it hadn't occurred to me but I'll show you a trick here in a few minutes on how to minimize that thrashing so he's a little guy he's under 40 I'm gonna go ahead and stick him in the box and here is my secret for staying cool. You need to drink lots of water, lots of water and hydrate. But I cut the top off of one of my uh, Gatorades, and I pour water over my shoulders, down my back, over my head, whatever it takes. This is another fish. I think it's probably fish number eight on that on that same little lure. They won't leave it alone, and he's also he's edible size. Am I gonna keep him? Yeah, yeah. He's good eating size, safe on the mercury list. Next up, same lure, a little bit bigger fish. And again, he's stuck outside the mouth. So this guy, he's stuck, he's hooked outside on the on the gill plate on the outside, and that back hook near the corner of his mouth got him bleeding. But it's external; he's going to be fine. His gills didn't get hooked. So I'm checking the damage. I'm laughing a little bit because the paint is uh, 
more and more it's it's eaten off the lure but the fish don't care they're smashing it consistently on the other rod I am trying different lures and here I pulled up on the <laughs> just as I cast you know that's how it happens that lure on that side that Halco Max doesn't even have to be moving and they'll smash it sometimes just the wave action so I put down the other rod and get this guy up to the boat he's another one pretty decent kingfish but he's again hooked on top of the head that's I don't quite understand that and I'm a little nervous because they thrash more he almost got me with that hook I hate that I got four hooks in me last summer I do not want to be hooked again so you can see what I'm doing I'm twisting him a little bit not twisting I'm bending him and that tends to minimize any of their thrashing around so he didn't bite me he gets a pass didn't hook me so next up same lure uh, during the day they they will eventually eat the paint off of this lure it's going to be totally smashed up and all teeth teeth marks no paint fish don't care they keep eating it so this fish has done something to me that is the reason people don't tend to troll two lures he circled around and grabbed that other lure and so I've got him but or he just shook himself off that's what it is he 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 got himself loose but I'm tangled with that other line it took 10 minutes to pick it out well I finally got a hit on that other lure and it's a good fish you can see I'm going for a pretty good sleigh ride he pulled me 200 yards he'd run a lot of line out and let me pick some of it up and he'd run it out again uh, so I know this is a solid fish before I can even see him you can tell now he's a he's a chunker so something I do is I put my foot out on the opposite side of the fish that I'm gonna land if a shark happens to come up there and grab that fish he won't accidentally hit a foot hanging out the other side of the kayak you don't want your foot hanging in next to the fish but separated on the other side of the kayak you're pretty safe I feel comfortable but the benefit of hanging a foot out the other side is you're you're getting your uh, stability is increased a little bit and you see where that lure is on that fish it's nowhere near the mouth he hooked himself behind the gills luckily got a good handhold on him you can tell <laughs> this guy's a pretty chunky dude I'm 6'4 with big hands and uh, he doesn't look small even up next to me this guy ended up being 52 and a half inches so he counted for kayak wars bonus points sorry dude you're gonna have a scar on your belly but we'll get you on your way here shortly I did have to stop and take a measurement I wanted to show you he is a chunk of a fish and you can tell I'm just so depressed about that my buddy came by let me get a picture alright so I'm pushing him back and forth trying to make sure the water works on his gills my bag is full I can't keep another fish so down he goes I hope he made it so I just wanted to show you how quickly this action happens sometimes I throw it back set the drag put the clicker on and put it in the holder my buddy's putting the fish away there's fish right there there's one paddle stroke two paddle strokes three paddle strokes bang there he is so this was another busy day I ended up with 18 more kingfish and I lost a bunch that I didn't quite get to the boat pulling the next one in that's on that larger Halco Max he's a pretty fish he's he's a nice chunk but again hooked on the top of the head I don't know what's up with these silly guys turning away at the very last second we got super clear water it's over 20 feet of visibility and as they rush up on that bait they try to bail at the last second and they get caught in the top of the head so this is a different fish um, I switched back to the other bomber lure to see if it would pick up more because the little halcos the small ones getting smashed I'm just running two small lures now because that seems to be working best so this one he's not huge but he's a pretty chunky respectable I don't know 43 44 inches something like that 
just playing him down until he gives me a chance at his tail but he keeps kind of sinking it's hard to get that tail you just keep at it keep watching for sharks there you go So we got it out. Not a good looking fish. So I'm not making long casts. I'm casting 30, 35 feet out. That way when I troll past other people, I don't have to worry about snagging them on accident. And when I stop, the baits will drop down. They're not going to snag the bottom. They're always within view of the fish. So that one I had reeled up out of the way, so I'm just getting that one set out as well. So I'm paddling around different areas. The bite shut down later in the morning. We had a full moon. It was a strong early bite, and then it shut down for a little while. It'll pick back up again. But it is hot. So I'm constantly pouring water and at 82 it's nice you really feel like you're cooling off and then my head gets hot that brim keeps the salt water off of my face but it cools my head down and does the trick I don't have to drink nearly as much fluid if I can keep my body temp down so I've got big baits out dropped to the bottom and bounced off the bottom and uh, catching a few fish while I'm going. I always watch the fish finder around structure and occasionally you'll see a school of what looks like snapper hanging right off the bottom. Why not drop a lure down there and see if one of them wants to play. You can also see I slipped off my boots because it was hot so I'm just in my socks. Why keep your socks on? Because I'm allergic to uh, man of war and I've run around with I've, I've gotten man of war around my feet and ankles several times don't want to do that again and they were floating around in that area so this little snapper he's not quite legal I did happen to catch a limit of bigger snapper I didn't put on video so I've already got four on the in the cooler back there not what I'm looking for but fun reeling in the bait to check it and the other one goes off which is pretty typical I'm always juggling with with two rods out something's always happening and occasionally I let go of the other one to fight the fish that's on and someone will jump on the other one that's that's fine too I like to be busy when I'm out there this guy gave me a freebie he's just kinda laying by the kayak they never do that but he did and right at the time I grabbed him by the tail the, the lure popped out of his face and uh, he unhooked himself. That was kind of nice. That Halco Max 110 again. So away he goes. And that's about it. It was a good day.